Tesla is back in the green today. Hedge funds and institutions are buying the dip in options. You are seeing some of the most bullish option flows for Tesla stock that you have seen in weeks now. This is highly suggestive that Tesla stock could end the week on a strong note, potentially even seeing a short squeeze. So we'll get into everything you need to know on Tesla, as well as the news coming out with Tesla today, not to mention Fed Jerome Powell basically said the stock market rally is not their problem and that they're fine with it. So if they're fine with it, I think you should be as well. So we're going to get into all of this and much more. Let's dive into it. But before we get into all of it, tap, tickle, touch, or smash the like button. Whatever freaky, weird things you like to do to it, there's no judgment here. But if you want to make more money, if you want to grow your net worth, if you want to reach financial freedom, consider subscribing to the channel as well to stay up to date with all of this information on a day-by-day -day basis. Tesla's charging technology has recently been put on a fast track to become the U.S standard this is according to sae international in which they want tesla's charging connector to become the standard in the next six months or less this is because it's going to open tesla up for a lot of government subsidies to expand their charging network which is good for everyone but especially positive for Tesla. It also seems that in the first four weeks of June, Tesla delivered about 61,000 vehicles to China. Now, there is a lag between the vehicle registrations and the actual delivery and sale of vehicles, so analysts are estimating over 70,000 deliveries for China. This would put total deliveries for the quarter in between 150 to 155,000 vehicles. This means Tesla is almost certainly going to be the average analyst estimate according to FactSet of 445,000 deliveries for Q2 and could actually beat the highest estimate which is 460 thousand vehicle deliveries barons goes on to estimate that you need to see at least 450 thousand deliveries to see the stock remain stable and any beat above that could send shares rocketing higher tesla shares are doing just that today the stock is up two and a half percent at the time of recording this video with very bullish option activity and a massive short position Typically, you don't want to bet against Tesla. That's usually a bad bet to make. And historically, the week before a major catalyst, you see short sellers and people with bearish bets on Tesla closing out some of those bearish bets or adding to some of their bullish bets to hedge out some of their bearish bets. That could be a cause of this rally that we're seeing today that likely continues throughout the rest of this week. Tesla's option activity today is 77% positive. Over the past week, you have seen a positive order value of 65% for Tesla. What a positive order value means is pretty straightforward. I like to use the $100 bill analogy. If you put a $100 bill into Tesla options, well, today you're seeing $77 out of that $100 in bullish bets, and you're seeing... $23 in bearish bets. So the overwhelming majority is placing bullish bets today. And including retail investors, the volume of bullish bets today is about 60%. So it looks like hedge funds and institutions might actually be more bullish today than retail investors. And that tells you something considering Tesla stock has seen four downgrades from four different Wall Street banks within the last week. Some of these options that hedge funds and institutions are buying today are extremely, extremely bullish. Look at these options that expire two days from now on June 30th. You're getting 265 calls, 260 calls coming in. Look at this, a March 15th, 2024 $440 call. That is a bet that Tesla hits a new 
all-time high within the next nine months or so. That would be almost a double from here. And this trade alone is worth $900,000, one of the largest trades that you are seeing today on Tesla. But a lot of these are shorter term calls. A lot of these options that you are seeing are for the next week or two, betting that Tesla goes higher this week, but likely goes higher after deliveries come out this upcoming Sunday. The best part about this recent rally with Tesla is it's been driven by a lot of good news. It's really been fundamentally driven. You could mix in a little AI hype in there, but not nearly to the same extent as other companies. Meaning that if we get positive delivery numbers, positive earnings, that could send the stock much higher. But markets are forward looking. So after the data that we are getting today out of China, the stock is going higher because we're starting to maybe price in a better delivery number and then potentially better earnings. And there's a long runway to price in better earnings for Tesla. The gross margin numbers was a real problem last quarter. At least that's what analysts thought. Well, as of this quarter, you've seen the price of lithium drop dramatically. It's down 60% from its peak in November of 2022. That should be a positive for Tesla's margins. You have seen Tesla reducing shifts at their factories, and it doesn't look like it's affecting output. You're seeing strong demand from Tesla, and if you're starting to see the transportation cost as well coming down, all of these things could feed into better margins for Tesla, and markets might start to price that in after Q2 delivery numbers. And that means more profits and a lower valuation. These recent downgrades we've seen with Tesla have been due to a valuation concern. And this really comes down to margins. So maybe we start to see more positivity after this Q2 delivery number. But what that means for this week is Tesla stock probably going higher in the meantime. Tesla stock recently hit a high of $276.99 per share. And I think as long as the data that we get coming out from now until Friday is not a reason for the markets to crash, meaning that if the markets stay stable or go higher, Tesla stock could most certainly retrace back to 275. That's at the base case for me. That's kind of what I'm expecting. That would be a rally of about seven and a half percent from here. That would be a move higher of about three and a half percent tomorrow and three and a half percent on Friday. To get back to about 290, in which I do think is possible, that would be a move of about 13.5%. Possible, but improbable, considering the profit-taking and rebalancing that you are seeing from hedge funds and institutions. According to JP Morgan, that could be excess of $150 billion this week alone. We also have earnings to contest with. Micron will be reporting earnings today and after hours. Obviously, Micron is not Tesla, and it doesn't have to be negative for Tesla, but Micron produces memory chips that are in essentially everything. The device that you are watching this on probably has a Micron memory chip in it. So if they have negative earnings, it could be a bad sign for AI in which... Tesla and NVIDIA have been trading kind of hand in hand. Their charts almost look identical recently. And if Micron gives us a bad inclination for NVIDIA, well, that could be bad for Tesla stock and vice versa. If Micron has good earnings, that could shoot Tesla stock up higher as well as NVIDIA and the whole AI sector. Not to mention, we also have Nike earnings coming out tomorrow in after hours as well. Nike, much bigger company as far as gauging how the consumer is doing. 
since the Fed is almost done raising rates, there's only two more projected rate hikes from the Fed. Markets are only expecting one more rate hike. If the consumer starts to slow down and a recession looks more and more likely, that's going to be the thing that the markets trade off of. And that could mean downside for our markets if that recession narrative does play out. In the meantime, Seeking Alpha is updating their estimates for Tesla. And take a look at this. 2023, they have a revenue outlook of $105 billion. For 2024, $155 billion with a 48% revenue growth target. Analysts are forecasting around 27 to 30% growth rate next year top line revenue there's some room for that to get better if we don't go into a recession if the global economy does plateau and eventually start to increase that could mean a lot more upside for tesla now i've talked about this a couple times as well if you look at tesla on a peg ratio basis what a peg ratio is for everyone that is unfamiliar is essentially looking at a microsoft that has a P.E. ratio of 37 and they grow at 10% a year. Well, if you look at Tesla that call it 30% growth next year, it's growing three times as fast as Microsoft, but only has a two times larger P.E. at about 65, less than less than two times higher P.E., which is the cheaper company factoring in future growth? It's Tesla. So Tesla is actually cheaper than stocks such as Microsoft or Apple on a peg ratio basis. And they're twice as cheap on that peg ratio basis. So I think there could be further upside in the valuation as long as people continue to buy Teslas. That's ultimately what needs to happen. Then you get value creation in tesla you get higher eps you're going to get better expectations that's going to lead to a continued rally in tesla stock keep in mind markets are forward looking okay seeking alpha expects a 1200 dollars share price for tesla by 2030 and they think tesla is going to bring in 657 billion dollars of revenue by 2030 volvo has recently just become the latest partnership following GM, Ford, and Rivian to partner with the Tesla charging ecosystem. As you guys know, this is a positive for Tesla and just another incremental catalyst and reason why Tesla should be trading where it is, if not trading higher in the near term. But if there's anyone that's good at killing a rally, it's gotta be Fed Jerome Powell. He says that more restriction is coming, including possibility of hikes at consecutive meetings. Sarah Eisman asked him, are we just going to see hikes every other meeting from here? He said, maybe. He said, depends how the data is. He said, we might start to hike consecutively, meaning just every single meeting. This is far from what the markets price in currently with only one rate hike expected in July and then a pause until January 24th, 2024 to get your first rate cut. That looks far from where the Fed is. The markets and the Fed are in huge disagreements here. But Powell says more restriction is coming and he says what's really driving their policy to be more restrictive is a very strong labor market and markets are quite volatile today. You're seeing some random sell-offs. You're seeing some random rallies. It's uncertain what's going to happen to our markets. And that's a reason why I think earnings with Micron and Nike and more earnings next week is probably going to be the biggest driving factor of our markets. Markets are not cheap. If earnings don't hold up, Houston, we could have a problem. Tesla, no problem there. If we take a look at the Q2 2023 estimate trends, this is how analysts have over time, over the last three months or so, been moving around their estimates for this upcoming quarter's 
EPS, that bottom line earnings number. And this is massively bullish for Tesla. Three months ago, analysts were expecting Tesla in Q2, this next quarter that's coming, to give us an EPS number of 91 cents. We're currently expecting 78 cents. So estimates have been coming down at the same time Tesla stock price has moved higher. That means that if we have a positive delivery number coming Sunday, you could see the estimates for EPS go higher. And that's going to mean more upside. Typically, estimates going higher lead stocks to go higher or that stock in question. Usually, when EPS estimates fall, stocks should fall as well or the stock in question should fall. That has not been the case with Tesla due to the obvious positive catalyst that we have seen lately. And there's a potential for a short squeeze this week as well as next week. Short sellers are doubling down on short positions. We now have 96 million shares, 96 and a half million shares that are sold short. This is the highest number of shares that have been sold short in years for Tesla. The last time you had this many shares sold short was July 15th, 2021. When short sellers had lost their ass in 2020 and lost their ass in 2021. Matter of fact, short sellers have lost more in 2023 than they lost in 2021. If you don't learn your lesson the first time, do it again. That's exactly what they're doing. This data just came out today. You have 3.53% short interest of free float. But with a stock such as Tesla, that does not matter. What matters is the dollar amount that's currently sold short in Tesla. And that sits at $23.64 billion. Tesla stock has fallen again from its highs up to 75. So as Tesla stock does start to recover from here, you're going to see short losses accumulate at the fastest rate you have seen in a very long time. This likely leads to shorts covering or reducing their short exposure before the delivery estimates do come out. And this could lead Tesla back to that 275 or as high as $300 per share by this Friday. There's a lot of uncertainties. We have a lot of economic data between now and then that could also affect the markets and Tesla, not to mention earnings. But from the way that I see it, you either get a big reaction this week or you get an even bigger reaction next week. Tesla has also done what Nvidia did recently. And that was Nvidia hit a all time high on a very aggressive rally. It came down for a couple of days and went higher to a new all time high. And Nvidia reset its RSI. This is critically important for a continued rally. Stocks don't go up in a straight line forever. If you want to see an uptrend, a continued upside trend, you need to see the RSI come down. And that is exactly what this recent drop with Tesla has done. You're only down about $20 from this high of this cycle at 275 or 276 technically. But the RSI is reset back to normal levels. You were very overbought. When Tesla was at 276. Now you're at 62.74. You're not even close to overbought. Tesla stock can eclipse new highs of this cycle and not have that negative pressure put on the stock. This is a negative pressure that trading algorithms use to short stocks. When the RSI gets overextended, algorithms go out and short stocks. Individual investors, hedge funds, they like to pick on stocks with extended RSIs. That's why this drop could have actually been a very positive thing for Tesla's continuation rally. Let me know what you guys think about a rally through the end of this week and next week with Tesla stock. If you guys have also signed up for the trading community down below in the description of this video, go to your Patreon, go look for messages, 
and go click on the link to join the trading community. Quite a few people have not done that yet, and I want to put that message here in this video. So I think there is a possibility of a short squeeze here. Again, the short amount of shares is at its highest level that you have seen since June of 2021. That's a problem for shorts as Tesla stock is up over 2% today. If this continues, short sellers are going to get squeezed out of their positions quickly. And the losses are going to start rolling in aggressively. Let me know what you guys think we have in store for us this week as well as next week for Tesla. Where do you think delivery numbers are going to come in at? I do think we could see as high as 480 to 490,000 deliveries. Keep in mind last quarter as well, there was about 20,000 vehicles that were produced that were not actually delivered as well. So that could help out our numbers if those vehicles did ultimately get delivered. So a couple things to consider. Again, let me know what you guys think about all of this information down below in the comment section. If you have not signed up for the trading community and you want to be a part of it, link down below in the description of this video. Click on the link. It'll send you to the Patreon and then you, you sign up and I will send you a message with the link on Patreon. If you have previously signed up and you are not in the trading community already, go to your Patreon, click on your messages and look for the message that I sent you. All messages set, get, get sent out every single morning. Uh, so make sure you guys are a part of it if you have signed up for it. If you guys also want to get free stock down below in the description of this video with Weeble, sign up, deposit $1, and you will get yourself uh, quite a few free stocks. I believe it's 15 free stocks right now. Send a free stock my way as well. It's a win-win for everyone involved. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.